Well, hello, Tube. Today, we have Tappan's Burrow by Zhang Gray. And I thought this would be a good way... Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to use a candle here. Uh, I thought this would be a good way of ending June on the range. Getting one more. I, I'm, I'm doing this as my last week since I started late. There we go. Uh, this is a three sh short novella um, collection called The Golden West. And if you have Kindle on there, I'm sure you've seen this. They, or if you've ever clicked on a Western apparel. This, th they've been trying to get me to read this now since the first time I clicked on a Western. But it's got a Louis L'Amour, a Zane Gray, and a Max Brand. Of course, Zane Gray is second on the list, but he had the first story. Uh, Pearl Zane Gray, born January 31st, 1872 in Zanesville, Ohio. Apparently his maternal grandfather, according to the Wikipedias, founded this town. He died October 23rd, 1939 in Altadena, California. He went to the Pennsylvania University of Pennsylvania to study dentistry and play baseball. Kind of cool. And uh, Tappan's Burrow, which is our first story, uh, was first published in 1923 in Ladies Home Journal, 6 of 23, or 623. I'm, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. <clears throat> but Tappan's Burrow, so this burrow named Janet is Tappan's. And she was born, and she was like a rump, but she, she grew up big and strong. The dog is trying to destroy me right now. Jeez, dog. And um, everyone, he became the lucky burrow because he stumbled upon or found prospect. He, the guy's a prospector. He got a bag of gold, and he's like, hey, you're my lucky burrow. And they had a very close bond. And um, they were out prospecting, and they were, ready, they were get, about ready to get um, held up by a couple dudes. And uh, they fought him off. He fought him off. And decided, hey, we got to get the heck out of here. The only way we can really do go is through the Badlands. So he decided in the middle of summer to go through the Badlands um, to try to get away from these thieves because no one in their right mind would want to go through the Badlands, right? Ends up uh, worse for wear. But this burrow, this burrow got him out of the desert alive. He woke up next to a watering hole or something or another. This burrow, he, he promised, you know, thank he he was he felt so such gratitude for this burrow saving his life. And he's like, I will never do that to you again. And so, trying to figure out what to do with all this money, uh, he decided, you know what, I could buy a business in town, but then I'd have to give up my I'd have to give up Janet. And she's my everything. So he decided to try to find this dead man's lost mine. And uh, so they took out for that. And while they were up there, this gentleman and lady came down. And they were they were saying they were ranchers. They just came back from uh, selling some, ca uh, some cattle. And her brother gambled away all the money. And now he's down bad. And he wants to sell his ranch. So they're trying to get tap in to buy this ranch well they the insta love happens between this girl and this guy right and um it's not like the louis l'amour insta love where they get married like three minutes later but months go by he's him and han about buying this you know this about buying this guy's ranch right and finally this light lady's like you know what? i gotta come clean you know, we were looking to pull one over on you, but we can't do that now because, because I love you and you know I want to be with you and I'm, and you gotta take me away because I told you our big secret and uh, he's not really my brother, but he's my husband. And he's gonna kill us all. So they decide to get the heck out of there, and the woman convinces Tap and to leave the to leave Janet behind. Imagine that, and. He hesitantly did it because they had to make a quick getaway, and he had trained Janet to stay near camp, so he was hoping that they could come back, whatever. They get away, 
um, and all of a sudden they find this cabin, and then all of a sudden their horses take off, right? And so he has to go after these horses, and when he comes back, this girl's gone. He thought, well, I just been duped, you know? She took everything, and um, whatever. But he did find a note hidden in a glove that said, "Hey, uh, I, you know, this wasn't a con. I really did love you, but." Uh, he he caught up to us, and I, I had to get you to run after these horses so he wouldn't kill you. And and so he tried tracking these people all over California, trying to find them. And then come to find out, the 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 husband killed a man, so he fled to Mexico. And then he, she he couldn't figure out where this girl went, so he decides to go all the way back home months later right like winter went by and everything and months later he decides to go back to this camp and who is in this camp but janet janet stayed there the entire time months and months have passed then he realizes wow you know what people really suck the animals they are loyal they know what real loyalty is and so they're, they're up there you know, camping out or whatever, doing whatever they're doing. And another man comes by, and um, he he he's not really been lost, but he is lost or whatever. And he, they offer him food, and he decides that you know I want to hang out here for a while, and then I'll come down off the mountain with ya. And then <clears throat> it starts getting really close to winter, and. Our man Tappan's not really wanting to budge, and this guy's like, "Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go." And he's like, "Nah, I think he, I think he was secretly hoping that this girl would come back to the to the site. I don't think it actually ever says in the book. But I think that's what the gist what he's trying to throw at you. But anyway, so they end up staying too long, and a massive like four three four day blizzard shows up and like feats and feats and feats and feats upon snow drop. Yes, I used feats, so get over it. And so they're stuck on this mountain, and this dude's pissed off because he was like, I told you we need to get off this mountain, now we can't. And he's like, now we got to go. And Tappan's like, yeah, okay, I was wrong. We should, we got to get out of here. And so he starts packing up Janet, and the dude's like, you know, we can't take this burrow. It's going to slow us down. We need to get the heck out of here. We need to shoot it, cut it up, eat it, pack it away. We're going to want that meat. And he's like, you ain't, you ain't shooting my Janet. You're not eating my Janet. Big fight breaks out. He did the old one-two. Punched him out. You know, you can kind of guess how the fight ended. Let's just say the Burrow won. And they make their way off down this mountain. It's a long, hard road. And at some one point, he like how janet saved his life he was out front trying to make this path in this four foot snow to get janet off this mountain because you know what janet saved his life so gosh darn it he's gonna save janet he owes her and um we'll just say they get off the mountain and if you want to find out what happens after that go read the book go read the story it was really good I really enjoyed this. I liked it just as much as if I was reading a Louis L'Amour. Um, and I will be looking for some more Pearl Zane Gray for next year's June on the Range. I will say, a lot of people have mentioned that um, his writing style ain't so 2022 friendly. It's got the racial slurs and stuff. This one didn't have any. So if you wanted to read some Zane Grey, but you're worried about all the old-timey bad talk that is really highly frowned upon these this day and age, <clears throat> this is actually a good one to read. So you can kind of give a gist of his um, writing style and his storytelling. And it was awesome. It was a great read. I I've, I've read... So far, I read one Zane Grey, and I read those Louis Lamours I did videos on. I did read a modern Western, and it was complete garbage. So there is definitely something to be said about these old-timers that wrote a hundred different stories and just how good they are and 
they are still almost 100 years old holding up and people are reading them and it, it's just great so yeah um i think that's it for this one peeps have you read tarpon's burrow have you read the short story collection i'm hoping to get uh all three stories read for it uh, my june on the range is going to go a little farther uh, a lot of people ended it already a lot of people are ending it on the last day of june i decided that i'm going to um I'll go out till Saturday. I think Saturday will be my last June on the Range uh, video. As long as I can get all these stories read and videos made and uploaded. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.